Hello, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers all over the world. Oh, greetings to you all. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Week and a happy Monday to you all, my fans, viewers, subscribers, family members, uncles and aunts, or aunts, or anywhere we on a day. Oh, I don't carry my car. I don't land uh, like uh, aeroplane where they land from Sudan. <laughs> Now, so the thing take me, my wonderful people, please make on I hear this breaking news oh, before we proceed. This one is coming from the camp of uh, I Pobos Poco person. How did they take mention himself? Where your name be Mr. Iman Powerful? I be Dr. Iman Powerful. He don't come out to come let the people know because there's a video making rounds on the internet because the only thing Nigerian government is doing to the Southeast, the only development they are bringing to the Southeast. Is whenever a criminal is being catched, that criminal will be named uh, IPOB and ESN. Just to the downgrade and make the, 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 the struggle of uh, this uh, Biafran agitation looks like a child's play. Looks like uh, uh, something that is stout being handled on the street. But that is not true. Yes, I saw that news even before they begin to parade those... Uh, Either three or four or five of them that are being killed operating with motorcycles. I saw the news that these are wanted criminals. But when all those people are being captured by vigilantes, so not police, but when it gets to the police hand now, they turn them to be IPOP and ESN. So the IPOP person have come out now to do what? To denounce that video that is making rounds on the internet or the news making rounds on the internet that those. Uh, wanted criminals being killed are uh, IPOPs and ESN. They are not. That is what uh, a man powerful is here to clarify. Because Nigerian government have been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that they prescribe IPOP, which the international community have already known about it. They are aware of all these things. So, all these games they are playing, small time now you will see uh, Lailai Mohammed, he will jump to private jet. After all, he's not paying for, for flight. He's not even paying for hotel room. All of them, they know what they are going to Washington to do. Sometimes when I begin to look what is happening in Nigeria, I will say that Washington, D.C., U.K., Parliament, and the rest of them, other allies, are the problem we are having in Nigeria and in Biafra today. Quote me wrong, and I will give you instances. You cannot tell me that um, Lailai Mohammed went to the Washington, D.C. to make a pronouncement over the comment uh, made by uh, Dati Ahmed. Dati Baba Ahmed, the running mate to P2B. Instead of him to be calling uh, Dachi Ahmed out, what he went there is to call a P2B is a uh, is, uh, triggering a, tre a treason or treasonable of uh, offense or be felony. How do they you to pronounce it? So maybe they are afraid to call their own brother, but they are free to call P2B. Imagine what happened yesterday, whereby uh, uh, Sheung Kuti, the son of uh, Let uh, uh, Fela Anikolako, he slapped a police officer. It is not barely some hours. So we we'll come online and say that uh, some people are uh, calling for uh, 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 Kuti's arrest simply because he did not support P2B. So tell me, how do the slapping of a police officer, or officer connected to supporting P2B or not supporting P2B? How do slapping a police officer, eh, if I may ask, is the IG of police, uh, uh, Ahmed Baba Alekali, is uh, an obedient? The answer is no. He's an APC. And he, he, he was the one that called for the arrest of Shane Kuti. But uh, so where they go on the internet now, begin to, people are saying, Peter Binem now have become a brand. His name now have become a brand commodity that whenever you call that name, your goods will begin to trend. Your news will begin to trend. Anything will begin to trend. Just like the factional uh, Labour Party acting chairman said that uh, Peter B have to be arrested because uh, he's calling for an entering government. Whereby Peter B have not made any such, such comment. The only person that made that comment is uh, Dati Ahmed that swearing in a, uh, 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 Bola Tunumbu on 29th of May this month means uh, end to democracy. That is what Dati Ahmed, Baba Ahmed said. But everyone, all accusing finger, all the OPC, APC, APC persons, including FFK, Bayanonoga, uh, Fesus Akbamo, and the rest of them, are calling for the head of P2B. The question is, uh, P2B suddenly becomes a threat to their lives. When this thing started either eight months ago, they said the uh, obedient movement is not four people uh, to in a room. 
So that four people now, instead of you people to go and look looking for the four people, you people are keeping looking for P to B. What offense are P to B committed? You people announce a doctor resort to the Nigerians. Even the Nigerians that voted said, no, we didn't vote. That is not the vote. Uh, that is not our vote. That you people promised us that we count. And uh, the INEC and APC come, uh, come out and said, if you are not uh, 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 satisfied with this uh, result or the election result, go to court. Which everybody have done. At least three or four or five political parties have went to court to ask for uh, 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 the result that brought the announcement of uh, Tunumbu as a winner. The same court they went. APC have been doing anything humanly possible to terminate that uh, uh, court petition. Using a uh, uh, expelled members of Labour Party, making all sort of derogatory statements, including a, a, a doctored uh, voice message, claiming it was P2B. The question is: Are P2B or that four people tweeting in a room suddenly turn a threat to the APC government and their lives and their spokespersons? Well, that is a story for another day. Hear this breaking news: I probably the associate itself from alleged members killed by Nigerian police seized rocket launchers and other ammunition. Before we proceed, I want to use this opportunity to tell you all my fans, viewers and subscribers, if you never subscribe to my channel and you are watching my content, it is not by force, so let it be from your mind. Subscribe. Others have been subscribing, so you also need to subscribe because so I've gotten to 5,000. Oh, that is the good news I want to bring to you people this morning. We have gotten to 5,000 subscribers. We are looking up to 10,000 before the end of this year. So let us go there. All those people who know what I'm... Even if you hate me, subscribe. Don't worry. A time shall come where you will like me because I always on point. I can never propagate. I don't give a fake news. The news I brought to my platform is nothing... The truth and nothing but the truth. I don't give fake news. You get the point now? So... Whenever, whatever you are hearing from my platform, this Obonga channel, Okuta Daily Talk, my dear brothers and sisters, believe it. That is the way it is. We have another breaking news here. P Square of Mr. P accuses Lego police of complicity in violence against the Igbos. What is he trying to say here? This uh, Mr. P, he came out to defend uh, uh, Seonkuti of what happened. Uh, between him and the police he, he assaulted. Then this young man came out and said that, uh, that the, the police the police should tamper justice with mercy. When they declared Senkuchi wanted, they go, want to got him arrested. So this young man said probably he did that because his family life was in danger. The police spokesperson, David Hunduin, is not up to some minutes. He tweeted that in. He replied, and dare him to try that to slap a lone police officer we see on the on the road if his family life is at risk what does that simplify and this young man come out and call him oh so you can reply so quick but you people were deaf and dumb during the elections that provide the evils even your ocp commissioner of police of lagos state came out to let us know that we should disregard mco law threat it's a joke but every threat, every single of the threat that MC Oloma made before the elections, everything come to pass. Many people lost their lives. Many people lost their lives. Some went to the pulling unit, complete body, but going back, a lot of people were stabbed. They went to Ikori, Ikori Maximum Prison and released inmates for them to come and attack the Igbo simply because they are voting for Labour Party. And uh, you did not respond. Even when the Igbos are crying, you keep mute. But when uh, SND Bonadio Estate come out to make a, a simple statement, under 24 hours, the DSS, SSS, N NSCDC, uh, police, army, even the Air Force, they gathered the team and arrested him and kept him for custody for over a month before he was released on bail. Now, you people are charging him for terrorism. The NCO Lomo, who made a threat, and his boys carried out the trade. He's walking freely, even visiting e money, drinking a uh, champagne, and the rest of them. They are calling him powerful man for profiling the Igbos. E money and his brother. 
Ogu na ego na ego that is there. Ogu lo ma pai. Ogu na ego pai two of you for betraying the Igbos, for welcoming the threat to our lives, to our properties, to the freedom of the Igbos in the land of uh, 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 Nigeria. I hope people are calling him last man standing. It shall be last man standing in your life because Ogu lo ma pai. That's all it be for my mouth. I beg me to proceed. May 29, APC Chief 10 calls on DSS, EFCC, police to stop a mefele from leaving Nigeria. It don't happen again, though. Troops uncover issue up underground armory in Sambisa Forest. Okay, they have an underground where they are storing armor to fight the Nigerian government. It's all right. So, my wonderful people, please, uh, we are about to take off now. I don't want to waste much of your time. Let us go there. Let us hit the ground running. The indigenous people of Biafra have said that no amount of blackmail and propaganda by the Nigerian government can change its resolve to actualize its dream of a Biafra nation. The spokesperson for the separatist organization, a man powerful in a statement on Sunday, said, IPOP will not back out of its commitment to achieve a separate Biafra nation. IPOP stated this as part of its reaction to a report by the Anambra State Police Command that its operative neutralized five members of the Eastern Security Network, the militant wing of the IPOP, according to the news. Describing the police claim that each operatives killed IPOP and ESN operatives as utter garbage and falsehood, powerful said, the police cannot confront each militant wing without receiving the heat, noting that they were not people who can be easily killed. You get it? If you don't get it, then forget it. He said, we the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, I Popo, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Nam the Okutuku Kano, a prisoner of conscience, unequivocally refute the concocted lies and falsehood which the Nigerian government and its security agencies are peddling to the effect that the criminals and kidnappers with whom the Nigerian DSS and police have hitherto been working together, whom they have now eliminated to cover their evil tracks in a number of states, are operators of the ESN and IPOP members. And he said, it is a lie from the pit of hell, according to the news by Emma Powerful. That claim is nothing but usual lie and propaganda against IPOB and ESN being propagated by a morally bankrupt and shameless Nigerian security apparatus to discredit our genuine struggle for self-determination in the international community. We know about all these tricks and we are waiting for them. The criminal gang led by Udmod, who was murdered by the Nigerian security agents recently in Anambra State, were not IPOB members nor ESN operatives. In fact, the murdered criminals were among the names that one of our leaders, Maze China Sanguru, publicly announced as among the criminals who, in collaboration with the Nigerian DSS, were being used to impersonate ESN operatives while tormenting our people during one of his Radio Biafra broadcasts last month. It is on that very broadcast that he declared them wanted and promised a, a reward for anyone who can give tips on how to arrest and detain them. By this very action, IPOP made it clear to all and Sunday on, and, and Sunday that these criminals are not ESN operatives nor are IPOP members and to prevent these criminals falling into the hands of our gallant ESN operatives, the Nigerian DSS and police had to set them up for elimination. The statement added, the Nigerian security operatives or security agencies must understand that ESN are not riffraff that can be killed by them anyhow without uh, uh, the, the, the security agencies losing on the battlefield. IPOB spokesman stated that the global family of IPOB was not surprised that the Nigerian government and its security agencies were feeding the public with falsehood. Noting that IPOB had become their worst nightmare as long as this, the, this country is concerned. 
The news that police had gone down IPOP members and recovered rockets, launchers, AK-47 rifles are all garbage. False and laughable because IPOP and ESN operatives don't indulge in criminalities or enforce non-existent sit-at-home orders. Everyone should go back and listen to the video where the agents call those guys criminals. Yes, the video came first. Even the news came first that these are criminals. But when they get to Nigerian uh, uh, security app apparatus, they turn them to be uh, IPOB and ESN. But the truth here is this. Because the person who pronounced these people, uh, IPOB and the ESN operatives being killed, is the spokesperson, police spokesperson in Anambra State. Somebody in Tochuku Ikenga. He is the one that did this. Anyway, he has been paid to do that. So he's trying all his best to satis satisfy his uh, paymasters by labeling the criminals who are tormenting Imo and Anambra State with motorcycles. He labeled them uh, ESN operatives and IPOB. Ibo no more, whoever. Makego. Ah. Below are the names of the criminals operating between Anambra and Imo State who are already on the IPOB's most wanted list for impersonations. Here are the names as follows. Tempo, a.k.a. Butuzo. Kalistus Ochiara, Papando, Obere, Zuma, Sky, 50 Cent, Oberensi, Uduego, Ojimini, Ifani, Agama and H. These gang members carry out criminal activities between Anambara and Imo State are not IPOP members nor ESN operatives. Powerful describe IPOP as an upright organization that cannot be involved in any criminalities in the Biafra land or anywhere in the world. We can't force unwilling people to support the struggle and neither are we going to kidnap or snatch cars of the same people we are fighting to free from Nigeria bondage. Powerful added. On a hearing, so you out there that is calling IPOB in anything you are doing, well, IPOB now has become a brand name because if Nigerian police does not call the name of IPOB in any of the operation or anyone they captured, Maybe their paymasters will withhold their salaries or their allowances. So that is why if they capture KK, okay, okay, even they capture a pregnant woman now, they say that it's high pop that impregnated that a woman. They capture somebody who went to the market to steal common a charger, that is phone charger. They say it's high pop. They captured ordinary criminal who is terrorizing back snatchers. They say it's high pop and ESN. Hey, Nigerian government. Anyway, sir, make going to continue. P squares Mr. P accuses Lagos police of complicity and violence against Igbos. Award-winning singer Peter Okoye, aka Mr. P, has accused the Lagos State Police Command of being silent on the violence against the Igbo in the just concluded elections in the state. Mr. P took his Twitter handle on Sunday to plead for mercy for Grammy-nominated Afro uh, Afrobeat singer. Seokuti, who was declared wanted for assaulting a police officer in uniform in a viral video. He had claimed Kuti probably assaulted the police officer because of his family was in danger, according to Mr. P. Replying to his tweet, Lagos State Police spokesperson SP uh, Benjamin Hunduyin dared the singer to slap an unarmed lone police officer whenever he feels his family is in danger and bring up the type of excuse he is making for Kuti in his defense. Wow, the rejoinder. He replied, he didn't sit well with Mr. P, who responded, thus, wow, that is like ambulance. And you were so quick to respond. Just in case you didn't know, we haven't forgotten how mute you were during the elections concerning the whole threat on the Igbos in Lagos State. He didn't respond, he cannot respond this one, because they know the truth. We are watching, and the world is also watching. We go all day all right. Last, last, according to Mr. P. I like this your slogan. We go all day all right. Not with this country, not this country. APC Chief 10 calls on ESCC police to stop a Mefele from leaving Nigeria. Because this man has caused a lot of havoc in Nigeria. He has caused a lot of havoc in this country called Nigeria. The Department of State Security Service, DSS, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Nigerian Police 
having all to stop the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, from leaving the country. National Coordinator for Northern Consensus 2023, Dr. Garus Galolo, on Sunday, frowned at news, making the rounds that President Muhammad Buhari had approved for Emefele to embark on a study leave abroad. This one is a running uh, uh, skill, because if once he run, just like uh, what they call him, uh, uh, Madeke, he's not coming back. You. All the whole money is thief. All the whole money is typhoon. All the billions he claims he used in printing uh, this nonsense that they did, or repenting the currency, it's been uh, uh, camped and uh, 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 banked out there abroad, not in, not, not in Nigeria. So once he leaves this country, my dear, <laughs> you will probably him tire. You cannot see him. But Gololo, who is also a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, ABC, told Daily Independent in Abuja that the present decision was not in the, in, in the interest of the country. Nigeria belongs to all of us, and not only to Buhari and his cabals. This is a man that wasted millions, not millions, so billions in a failed uh, currency redesign. We are talking about 3.5 to 5 billion naira is what is being spent. Now, where are the currencies being printed? Nothing. Not even in the circulation. Not even a single is in circulation. All have been in their houses. Now we are using uh, old Naira notes, even when they have destroyed many. That is why you see many people are using Naira to buy Naira in Naira land. What a taboo. He said he was said a failed currency redesign attempt and put millions of Nigerians in untold hardship, if not almost the whole Nigerians. He has to tell Nigerians how we handle the exchange rate and the modalities he used in validating or otherwise of blue the change operators, most of who were his business partners. How can he allow a Mefele or any member of his cabinet to leave the country in the July in the okay, in the July, July of his administration? They should stay back and provide insight into their time in the office. And that is a very good observation. Gololo also said that Buhari administration fight against corruption was a mere wishing thinking. Insisting that the government spend more time turning a recharge car seller into a multi-billion naira, if, if not in dollars self. Imagine when a recharge car seller who followed the president into Asorok is now a multi-billionaire multi in naira and in dollars and, uh, and uh, a director in the NIA. Voila, no they finish. What kind of governments are we all running? He added. The good governor's advocate further called on Nigerians to rise to the occasion and prevail on the government to stop shedding cabinet members. According to him, all ministers in the government, especially the former trans transport minister, Rotimi Amirichi, and the minister of finance, Zenev Ahmed, should be made to give an account of st uh, uh, stewardship while in office. About Amechi, the APC chief then recalled that the ex transport minister had assured the country of a rail line from Kano to Maradi in Lijen and that the federal government had paid for the train coaches from China. But the, but the but rail had been completed. Am I missing something? Months after he left office, nothing has been heard of these promises. According to Gololo, other ministers that must be investigated, including the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, and the former power minister, Saleh Maman. This is uh, as he won the present select, Bola Tunumbu against working with appointees of the current administration, who he said are only interested in enriching themselves and their family members and not in the interest of the nation or not serving the nation. The last but not the least, troops uncover each warp underground armory in Sambisa Forest. Troops of the 21 Armor Brigade Operation Harden Kai had recovered a large catch of arms and ammunition from the Islamic State of the West African Province, Ishwab, insurgents in Sambisa Forest, Bruno State. It was gathered that the troops discovered a massive armory with arms and ammunition when they invade Ukuba camp 
in the French of Bama local government area as part of ongoing encounter terrorist operation Desert Sanity 2 on May 13, 2023. According to a source, the recovery came after the troops raided the same camp and recovered six anti uh, aircraft guns, four AK 47 rifles, several IEDs making materials. Uh, it is making materials, a catch of magazines, and a helos vehicle mounted with anti craft, anti aircraft gun. A counter insurgent expert and security analyst in the lecture re uh, region, Zagazola Makama, said a large number of weapons were discovered in a hiding dog pits concealed by the terrorist group. The source said several variants of rocket propelled grenade tubes. SMG rifles, double barrel guns, 50 hand grenades, and five SMK bombs, among others, were recovered. Others include 183 uh, shaker rams, several IEDs making materials, non electronic uh, detoners, many already prepared IEDs, as well as several canister bombs. It was gathered that. As the troops were withdrawing from the area, one terrorist was seen and neutralized while uh, one AK-47 rifle and other items were recovered from him. The troops success successfully evacuated the arms from the scene after clearing the general area, noting that the troops, moral and fighting spirit have been further boosted by the outcome of this operation so far. The troops operation Desert Lake Mountain 2, which commenced April 27, 2023, in the axis of the Sambisa Tambuktu Triangle, and the shores of the Chad is making steady inroads as ground and backed air support continue to sustain pressures on the terrorists, killing scores of them while many others were forced to flee. Some of the terrorist hideouts uh, that had been cleared, including Gano, Alafa, Alafa D, Garden Doctor, Njumia, Isa, Farisu, Somalia, Ukuba, Garen Glucose, Garen Baaba, and Bulabumea. That is to say, they are trying to tell us that uh, they are fighting insurgents. What happened to Southern Kaduna, where the secretions occupied? Where we say that Soso killed and kidnapped. The other day, a family uh, of nine, I mean, uh, the, the what do they call it? The, the traditional ruler of that very area was invaded, his house was invaded. His nine children and grandchildren were kidnapped till death. The Nigerian police force in Kaduna State have not given any account, even at the time of reporting this issue. They have not made any comment concerning the issue. I don't know the kind of country we are running. I don't, call, I don't know the kind of uh, people we have voted or they voted themselves to lead us. But the truth needs to be told. They have not been doing well in their quest to, 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 to clear the insurgents. Yet, the, 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 go, the government of the day, which is the President Muhammad Buhari, have been going from one African country to the other, collecting, uh, uh, what do they call it, awards of uh, Democrats and uh, whatever, whatever, whereby he is busy chasing rights. Why the, country, the whole country is on flames. God forbid, bad thing. May it never be our portion that in this current dispensation of the government that we will face worse than this again in this life. That means the whole Nigerian will vanish now. Eh, nah? Because uh, they are not giving us uh, any reason not to doubt them. APC have done us the worst thing that can ever happen in this country. Eh? Our GDP have gone down. Debt, uh, debt ratio climbed to 77 trillion naira plus more. Now, the federal government, or be the uh, government of the day, President Muhammad Buhari, have asked the House, the Senate, and the National Assembly to approve another 800 million dollars for whatever, whatever reason he wants to use it for. Barely how many days to leave office? Nigeria, on our way done. So, my wonderful people, I hope on our enjoying this news. As you are watching, subscribe. As you are subscribing, like as you're liking make sure you comment and as you're commenting make sure you share it to your family and friends because this news need to go to every news and crannies of our country and outside the country have a nice day and may the almighty god bless us all the father the son and of the holy spirit 
I am signing out. Bye for now, my people. Kemesiano.